Hey folks, I'm John P. And I'm Callie Lewis. <laughs> On today's show, PayPal Bacon is coming soon. Universe wants to annoy your kids. Apple launches a blingy new iPhone. 140 characters with a big impact. Oh, and we have an awesome guest host, me. And it all starts now. She has some really fancy uh, dance moves. Yeah, you guys totally <laughs> missed it. She was rocking it, rocking it during the intro video there. So we have a special guest host. It's Shannon from Hack Hi. Five. Yay. Hello, how are you today? We are excellent. How we are, are you? I'm doing pretty good. Thank you for having me on. This is so cool. The correct answer was I'm fantastic only because I'm on Geek Beat, right? What? Yes. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you know, I have to tell you guys, Shannon is one of my favorite people in the world because her attitude is just so happy <laughs> and she makes everyone around her feel good and uh, she's super smart and super geeky and Wait, is this your, your line is would this be totally your, hot. It, yeah, and she's smoking hot too. <laughs> is this but I'm a little worried because I don't know if this is the part where I'm about to get like fired and replaced as host here or something. Or, <laughs> well, I wasn't know. gonna get into it on TV. I mean but... it is Friday and you know it's, it's <laughs> almost like four o'clock, five o'clock. It's towards the end of a Friday. That's when people get hacked. Speaking of hacks, yeah. <laughs> see, hack five. So Shannon, tell everybody about what all you've been into lately. Oh my gosh. Well, um, I do Hack 5. That's my main show. I host that with Darren Kitchen over at HAK5.org. I also do ThreatWire. I'm a host on there. And I produce a couple of shows at Twit TV, uh, Before You Buy and Know How. So I'm pretty busy. <laughs> <laughs> She's also really smart. I said that. I know, but she's <laughs> smarter than you let on, too. <laughs> yes, she is. So it's a little scary, a little intimidating. Why, why, do you guys, why do you guys get intimidated by that? Do you know that, Shannon? Do you understand? I don't understand it. I, I don't know. I go to DEF CON and guys are afraid to talk to me. And to, uh, to be honest, I'll run up to them and give them a hug just to scare the crap out of them. And <laughs> it's so fun. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, they're not scared to talk to you because you're smart. They're scared to talk to you because you're hot. There's a difference, okay? Because <laughs> I'm a girl. Because and, and you're, you're a girl, yes. And you're mistaking the fact that I would say she's so smart, you know, and that, that being scary. a little in intimidating. You're mistaking that for being a gender thing, like in a, oh, it's a girl who's smart and a guy. No, that's not the case. The thing is, it's just that no guy will admit that he's a little intimidated by other guys that are smart. But, it, but they can kind of let their hair down a little bit and let, them, let a girl know that. <laughs> I'm going Thanks, in circles. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> so Shannon, for anybody who doesn't know uh, kind of your history, obviously you're involved in a lot of different things, but how'd you even get started? Um, it was kind of weird. Well, in high school, I used to be really into theater and choir and performance arts. And I was also really into building computers. Thanks a lot to my dad. Uh, in college, I went into restaurant management, so I kind of parsed away from geekiness for a little while, but I learned about the business atmosphere a little bit. And then after college, I was introduced to the guys of Hack 5. Uh, they, they asked me to join the show. They knew about my theater background and whatnot. So they were like, well, you can build computers. Do you know Linux? And at the time, I was like, nope, but I'm happy to learn. <laughs> so I started doing the show with them, and ever since then, I've just been self-taught. I've been teaching myself everything from the Linux terminal to how to use a MacBook. So you just just learn Linux? Yeah, basically. <laughs> like, no big deal. So yeah. do you speak Russian? No, but eh, that never learn. stopped me before. I'll just, I'll just learn it. Yeah, I'll Not just a problem. Learn it. What yeah. else? <laughs> awesome. Uh, well, you're going to join us. I don't know how much time we have left, but you're going to join us for the entire show. Um, and we're going to be talking, doing the, our normal thing, talking about news and everything but we're going to get her input on all the news stories of the week. Uh, there was something that happened this week, actually. Uh, today, yesterday, in New Jersey. Oh, yes. You know what? Unfortunately, our, our hearts go out to our friends 
over in New Jersey because... What exactly happened? I have not had a chance to even look it up. Oh, it's bad. The, there's like the boardwalk over in New Jersey is like blazing on fire. They've been covering it everywhere. And of course, oh. this was the picture that I... Okay. Don't laugh. Well, Do you first not of all, laugh, John? Okay, Dave, take that off the screen. That was a little premature, Dave. I bet you've heard that a lot. <laughs> So I apologize. Okay, Shannon. first of all, Man, John. <laughs> it's really bad because just like a year ago, they got decimated by a hurricane. Yeah. Now the whole thing is burning down, and it's bad. But well, yeah, I just laughing. couldn't resist this picture. This, I mean, this picture. Okay, now you can put it up, Dave. This picture made its way out, related to the uh, to the fire that's going yeah. on right now. It's just terrible. It is the very fun sad. The funhouse is on fire. That is sad. Now, if we weren't talking about this being a tragedy like today, you got to admit that picture would be funny. Shannon? Well, it could be fun if you're a pyro. <laughs> yeah, if you're a pyro, you would especially enjoy it. <laughs> right. <laughs> but back to seriousness. Really sorry for all of you folks in yes. uh, New Jersey. And uh, to go out to you. Hopefully everybody pulls together like they did after the hurricane. Get that thing fixed up. Um, they will rebuild it. We also got something. Do, Shannon, you know uh, Drobos? Yes, oh. I do. You guys you probably use them in, uh, in the studio there and everything. Where's my Drobo? We do. We are big fans of Drobos around here. <laughs> so we hey, got a, a new product in um, that is super secret. It has been at least for a while, and we just made it public today. Um, it is a little battery pack for yeah. the uh, Drobo Mini. Uh, and so that has, is it launched? Can people buy it or no. are we just teasing people today? No. The, in fact, this is so beta, it's not even beta. It's like alpha. Well, yeah, it, it's it alpha a, because it's like papered, it like the a, labels are papered on yeah, and glued. Yeah, a sticker on it that shows like something. <laughs> there's no documentation, there's no nothing. The, but the lights don't even work right. But here's the point. This is the Drobo Mini, which I carry around with me all the time. Right. Uh, but the problem with the Drobo Mini is, let, let's say you're on an airplane. You gotta have a 110 outlet for it. Yeah. So I had talked to our friends over at Sanho. They're the guys who um, make the hyper uh, hyper juice hyper juice batteries. And I told them I was like, "Look, you've got to be able to make something for me so I can so like, you don't carry have to plug this. in." Yeah. And they built this. This is a prototype, and uh, that's all I have to say. But what's cool. cool about it is this is the normal Drobo carrying case for the. Mini, and you usually keep like your power cords and stuff on this side, but this battery was made to fit perfectly right there in the carrying case. That's pretty awesome, actually. And you can still put your charger in there with it nice. too. I figured out because it's thin enough yeah, that, that you can put that in up there. The you can put the tiny little charger in there. You put your Drobo in there. It's pretty cool. All right. Well, now you want one, don't you? I kind of do. It's very <laughs> technolust worthy. I'll have them send you one. <laughs> Yes. I know right. a guy. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, we have to go to commercial break, uh, but we will be right back. Do we have a fame spot of the day? Not yet, but we will by the time you get back. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, guys. Welcome back to Geek Beat Live. I'm Callie. I'm John P. I'm Shannon. Yes. <laughs> it worked. worked. I didn't even tell her what I was going to do. I know. <laughs> so in honor of the biggest story of the week this week, I am wearing a Windows shirt. I don't nice. know if you noticed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Is that a dig at Apple? <laughs> no. Actually, it's just coincidence. Oh, okay. But what can I say? I thought it was funny. Nice. I didn't even notice that until just now. <laughs> so Apple did have the biggest news this week when they launched. Their iPhone, i their iPhone 5C and 5S models, and that's it. Nothing else. Okay, I have. Okay, Shannon, I have to propose a question to you because everybody is like, "Ah, eh, this was so boring. This was a horrible launch." Blah 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 blah. Everybody blah. is. A lot of people oh, okay, are. Okay, right, yeah. But what about you? What did you think? Did you like it? Are you excited or not? Uh, well, my, my favorite part of the announcement was when people on Facebook started posting pictures of all the different colors and comparing them to Crocs and Power Rangers. <laughs> That's how excited I was. 
<laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> Otherwise, not really excited about buying a new iPhone because honestly, not enough changes for me. Well, wait, do you have an iPhone? I do, yeah. I currently have an iPhone 5. Okay. And I have the coolest I have the nice. coolest case ever. So oh, wow. I really don't wanna I don't wanna buy a colored iPhone. I have no reason to want one of those five C's. Yeah. And the the 5S hasn't changed enough for me other than that cool, you know, 64-bit ARM processor, but that's about it. Well, okay, so let's get, let's just briefly recap this. So they, they, the two big announcements, one, the 5C. The C stands for color, which means we're taking away your black and white. I thought it stood for cheap. But. Right. We're taking <laughs> away your black and white options. You may no longer have those. Now you may have any color you want in the pastel variety. <laughs> Pink, light blue, yellow, yeah, whatever these... floats your... These are actually Boats. made with uh, better, you know, with uh, more durable materials. So people like maybe teenagers and kids can throw them around a little bit uh, more without risk. Oh, like you've never dropped a phone. <laughs> never. I don't anyway, know what you're talking so about. What happened was, I want you to imagine this: take the iPhone 5, strip mm -hmm. all the guts out of it, and stick it in a colored case. Bingo! That's the 5C. Like almost, basically, nothing has changed. However, they introduced the 5S, yeah. which has big time changes. A whole new processor, um, a slightly improved camera, but it also has this biometric fingerprint reader. So like, for example, when you want to download an app, you don't have to type in your password. You can swipe your thumb and log in. And they do say, Shannon, that it's going to be twice as fast, basically, as what Woo! you have. Plus, with like 30 or 40 percent better battery life. Woo! <laughs> and you're not going to buy one? No. Okay. My account still lasts all day, even if I'm on Facebook or I'm on, you know, Google Plus or whatever all day. And still, I really have no reason to cash out the extra money for it. Honestly, I've been looking at Androids recently. Mm. Wow. All right. Well, <laughs> I, think, I think it's a good move. But um, <laughs> at the same time, <laughs> at the same time, uh, you know, the fingerprint scanner isn't getting enough co enough Crib. excitement, I think, um, because this is a big game changer in terms of mobile technology that we have now. Well, I want to ask Shannon, because you, you talk a lot, a lot about hacking and security and stuff right. like that. Do you think that the incorporation of this uh, biometric uh, security feature is a big deal or not? Well, the most interesting fact that I found about the new fingerprint scanner is that some people are thinking, although it's supposed to just be stored, I believe, locally or just on uh, Apple servers, they're That's wondering like if it's going to give the NSA and give the government a really easy way to find everybody's fingerprints now. So I don't know if it's as secure as they're hoping it's going to be. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we'll move on from Apple, because everybody has probably heard it by now. Yeah, um, they probably heard it on Twitter. They probably <laughs> did. And you know what else they heard on Twitter was that Twitter is going, is a, is a, you know, going uh, for their they're, IPO. They're so, going public. Um, they just announced that this yesterday, I believe, uh, with a tweet of their own. In 140 characters, they basically told the world what was going on, and everybody is all just going now, crazy about here's it. Here's what I think. This is funny. We've confidentially submitted an S1 to the SEC, blah, but, blah, blah. But doesn't so that, you tweet it. But doesn't that <laughs> have to do with like how they filed the confidentially part? Isn't, isn't that? All they had to say was, we submitted an S1. We confidentially <laughs> submitted an S1? <laughs> what is that? So what do you think, uh, Shannon? Is this a good thing? Are they going to bust like Facebook did? Are What's going to happen? Going, are you going to plow your entire 401k into Twitter stock? No. <laughs> no <laughs> way. <laughs> I don't have any of my stock in any kind of tech companies for the mere fact that they come and go, and they always come and go like that. And um, 
I really hope that they don't end up like Facebook did last year after they opened publicly. But um, myself, I really don't follow IP or IPOs that closely, so uh, I probably won't follow it after this news. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, I don't blame you. I'm kind of bored myself already. <laughs> for people who don't know what happened really with the Facebook thing, so they came yeah. out and they were like, you know, oh, we think Facebook's worth, I forget, thirty-three dollars a share. And so they, they opened and they issued at that share and they sold them all. And Zuckerberg got filthy rich. And then the stock tanked like immediately. And it took a year to recover to just the yeah. level people bought it at. So what does that tell you? A, Z Zuckerberg is a genius <laughs> because he managed to get way, way more for it than it was worth right off the bat. Yeah. B, everybody else got screwed. That's what that's what you learn from that. <laughs> well, so. Millionaires so. always win, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully, you know, this won't turn out the same exact way. Maybe it'll go better. Uh, we shall see. There's just no telling right now. On, and on other, the other side. On other stock news, yep. people who want their stock back, Michael Dell is buying back the company. It's public now. He got together with some investors and basically said, we will make an offer to repurchase all the shares because I'm Michael Dell and I want to own the company. It took him like <laughs> almost all year to accomplish this, but he's, he's pretty much done at this point. So when congratulations done, for him. He's going to own 75% of Dell. Wow. But wow. why? Well, yeah, that's my big question is why? Yeah. I, I mean, it's a, com it's a commodity business they're in. They're, they're, they're having a hard time making margin. I mean, I guess he can, I, I don't know. I don't know what you do with it. It's not like you can just sell it to somebody else or what. I'd, I, I am curious to see what he's going to do with it. We shall see. Maybe after this commercial break, maybe it'll take a little bit longer than that. <laughs> I, I am going to look at this camera and give you a fame spot. What is our here. fame spot? The fame spot is... Are you going to sell your Dell stock and buy Twitter IPO stock? Really? <laughs> Go to geekbeat.tv forward slash like, fame spot. Are you going to buy an iPhone? And let us know. <laughs> Welcome back to Geek Beat Live, people. I'm Callie, that's John, that's Shannon, you know that by now. <laughs> and it's gadget time. But before we get to that, I have to answer everybody's question because the chat room is going crazy with questions about this. And so I'm guessing the people at tell home them. are also asking Would you and like wondering. me to tell what happened? <laughs> it's simple, really. I got bit by a dog, and so I'm oh. trying to heal. That's pretty much it. <laughs> when, and by, when she says, I got bit by a dog, what she means is she was walking through the park late at night. No. There was a full moon. No. She heard howling. The next thing you know, werewolf. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. That is what happened. And so now Shannon is wondering why she uh, joined us. So I should, guess, maybe this is contagious across the country. Guess what hap happens during the next full moon? Yep. That's it. That's pretty much what happened. <laughs> All right, now okay, it's back gadget to gadget time. time. So, Uverse actually has launched something that uh, moms and parents might like, but kids probably will not at all. So, what's going on is they have launched TV Notes. Now, this is uh, basically a system that will allow you to send a text message and have it display on the TV whatever the kid or your husband or your wife or whatever. It's like a sticky note. <laughs> what, Shannon? It's bad. I oh, think it's this is so awesome. Bad. <laughs> oh my God, this is awesome. I would not want to have this in my home being annoyed. You know, annoyed. this would be great if I could use this for when my man is playing video games on his PS4. So I could be like, by the way, uh, do the dishes. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. I am just, now I just need to find out if there's like a public API to this or if I'm going to have to hack it because. <laughs> I am going to have a lot of fun with UVerse now. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, the, the, the interesting thing is you can preset messages. So if you wanted to say, go do the dishes or go do the laundry or anything like that, you can just have it ready to go. <laughs> but can you <laughs> be like, hello? Can you also set it on an automated timer? Yes. So, but can I set it to repeat yes. on an interval? You can. 
Oh, really? man. They're going to create so many divorces with this. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> so humorous is causing divorce. <laughs> nice. You know what? I want to just put one that says, like, are we there yet? And then have it on a <laughs> two-second interval <laughs> 3,000 times. All right. Well, moving on to something that's not annoying. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, Google Plus. Uh, don't know how often you guys use Hangouts on Air, but if you have ever joined in one, uh, you kind of know that there's not a lot of room for discussion. Like the Hangouts on Air on Google Plus are great, but you can't really chat back and forth. And you so, can't with the other people. Who, like, what you could do is have four or five people yeah. that are on there, and they're all chatting. But, like, 5,000 people are watching, and they're totally out of it. Yeah. So Well, they were totally out of it. Not anymore. Now you can uh, add, poll the audience, and the audience can talk back and ask questions. And you can even, this is pretty cool, Shannon, time code uh, your video for later playback and have it marked. So as you're answering questions, you can be like, this is a this is a point in the video that you might want to see later. So hmm. what do you think? That's really cool. I'm excited to use this specifically for, you know, social networking for all of my different shows. This will be really, really nice to get the community involved with us while we're doing these kind of hangouts. I love it. Awesome. How often do you do that? Um, not too often right now, and one of the reasons is because we don't get a lot of community feedback whenever we do it. So I'm hoping that we'll start doing things like this at least once a week or twice a week, you know, every Thursday and Tuesday or something like that. Yeah. Hey, by the way, if that doesn't work out so great for you, we have our own server that runs our IRC chat, yeah. which you're in the chat room right now. And <laughs> if you guys want, we could set up a channel on there and you can use it as well. So just saying. Trey, Trey Ratcliffe did that for his stuck in customs stuck in customs stuff and things like that. So you're welcome. You're welcome to it. If the Google if the Google doesn't if they let you down. Yay! <laughs> All right. Uh, you uh, you probably want to let the audience know about the coolest app that has ever lived. That has ever existed. Has ever, ever existed in the universe. Ever. Well, I did have a show that just came out. Uh -huh. When did it come out? Uh, yesterday, I believe. Yesterday. That is all about BusyWig. So we did a little um, we did a little live streamy interview with Michael. He was in Puerto Rico. It's so amazing. It doesn't matter where people are anymore. We can have them Skype in or Google Hangout in or whatever, and we just do these you know talk like they're next door, like Shannon right now yeah, in yeah, San exactly. Francisco area. But anyway, back to the point. So we were demonstrating this live video switching application where they've added a new feature called Worldwide Remote. Now, here's how that works. Pretend for a moment, I don't know, let's say Shannon was in San Francisco. Huh, let's pretend. And she <laughs> saw something awesome and we were in the middle of our show she could fire up her iPhone and be filming it, and we, from our system, could live switch to her feed from San Francisco, and then we could switch back, and we could have somebody in New York, and we could switch to them and switch back or whatever, and that is pretty awesome. Is so if you guys awesome. haven't seen that show, go check it out. It's at like, I don't know, geekbeat.tv. <laughs> <laughs> Probably slash BusyWig. Actually, it's in the show Maybe. notes. Maybe. No, it's 704. Oh, it's episode 704. <laughs> David knows. But you can also go to geekbeat.tv forward slash live 110 for the show notes, and it will be there. I promise you that. All right. Uh, Shannon, <laughs> are you a uh, gamer by any chance? Oh, just a little. <laughs> <laughs> that was a setup question. Yeah, no joke. <laughs> um, so, uh, what do you think of the What do you know the, about the PlayStation? The Sony PlayStation Vita. <laughs> oh, John, the Sony PlayStation, you asked me. Well, the <laughs> Vita. <laughs> I don't own a Vita currently, and one of the main reasons is because I surprisingly don't play a lot of games whenever I'm on the go. I usually just sit at home and play them on my console. So I never picked up a Vita. But this new Vita TV that they're talking about is perfect for somebody like me who likes to play games in my living room, old classic style, and I still want to play all those cool games that are available on the Vita. Yay! Nice. Awesome. So are you going to be buying it? 
I yeah, I probably will when it's available in the U.S. Okay. They're going to give her one. <laughs> well, they'll give her one, but yeah, you know, would she spend her own money on it? Is the question. <laughs> if they didn't Gladly. give it. <laughs> You're the complete opposite of me. When I'm at home. I don't play console games. I only play games like on my iPhone and st I mean my iPad and stuff like that. <laughs> See, uh, you're like my fiance. He plays a lot of games on his iPhone whenever he's on the go, but me, I'm still a console person. Nice. By the way, did you know that this thing in front of me, this isn't actually, this is my iPad. <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> he's got this monstrous thing going on here. Because you, I can. Well, I mean, it's cool. It is awesome. Let me tell you what I have just for grins. So this is an iPad mini. You have like three different devices packed together. I know. I, of course. <laughs> this is my iPad mini with the show notes. It is mounted in an iographer case, which is for like shooting video and stuff on the go. See, I can be like this, like, woo, ah. And then I can snap, it has a, uh, what do you call it? Tripod thing on the bottom. Uh -huh. So I snap that into my little Manfrotto ball head. And then I have that on my Edelkrone slider rig. Because as you're looking at the run sheet, you need to be able to slide it back and forth slowly to make good video. I need to be able to have my hands free like this so I can, <laughs> be expressive and that's why I'm using that. <laughs> that is pretty awesome. Yeah. All right, one more thing. Uh, in the teaser, the show of the show, you said PayPal now has bacon? Yeah, PayPal is now, I, I haven't heard anything about it yet, but I know PayPal is coming out with a new brand of bacon. <laughs> Not so much. <laughs> no, what are you so, talking about? It's actually called Beacon. I, I guess you read the uh, headline a little Beacon? Wrong. But yes, it's called Beacon, and they want it to be easier for you to use your PayPal account anywhere and everywhere. They've actually come up with this little mm -hmm. mobile payment system. Uh, this is a USB device, basically, that uh, people can put in their restaurants or shops, retail shops, uh, and it's using Bluetooth um, uh, low energy to be able to talk to, your, to, to an app on your phone, and then you can basically pull this thing up Hit pay, you're done, and you can not have to swipe a card anymore. Will you use it? Are you scared of it? Is it a privacy issue? I don't know if it's a privacy issue quite yet, because PayPal is pretty good about keeping everything private on their website as far as that goes, and their payment processing. But I have some beef with PayPal, so personally, <laughs> I'm not going to use it. And any time I can keep from giving them any kind of transaction fees, I will. I will gladly use a credit card instead, but that's just my personal opinion, of course. Otherwise, it looks really useful for average consumers because it's going to speed up the process. You won't have to stand in line and wait for a register to open. Okay, A, I'm very disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> because it's not bacon? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> for, for obvious reasons. Very sorry. B, okay, it sounds like it's pretty cool. C, Shannon, you just can't just say that and I not know. tell me the story. I got to okay. know the story. <laughs> well, first, <laughs> uh, Hack5 does this online store, and they just decided to cancel our store because they didn't quite understand that we're selling penetration testing products and not hacker gear. And also because they totally screwed me over in an eBay sell, and I, I, I lost out on $300, basically, oh. on a did, sale. Did she just say penetration testing? Yes, <laughs> she did. By the way, that brings us, that's a nice segue into our problem with PayPal. Do you remember right. what happened to us? I do remember. We were throwing a conference here in, a, Open in, Camp. in Dallas called Open Camp. And uh, Big basically, one. We, we had all sorts of, all the registrations going through that system and PayPal. And then they just decided to not let us have the money. And so how do you throw we're a conference talking, without having the money to throw it? We're talking like $50,000 worth of registrations going into this account and then them just saying, oh, you can't have it until like 45 days after, after. the conference is over. Yeah, they've done that a couple of times to big, big names. So. We lost our minds. And so what we did was we took it public. And it caused a big stink. And then we started getting calls from like VPs at PayPal going, oh, did we say 45 days after? We're, oh, no. now. You can have it right now. <laughs> it's okay. So well, you should PayPal try that. Well, PayPal definitely lost out in a lot of funds, especially when we go to DEF CON. So 
it's their loss, yeah. whatever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, well, that wasn't in the plan to talk about. So we are over and uh, I'm getting yelled at from behind the scenes to go to commercial breaks, so. Okay, we'll be right back. But before we go, you have to go to geekbeat.tv forward slash fame spot and tell us if you're gonna sell your Dell stock for Twitter stock, bye. Or Welcome back to Geek Beat Live. I'm John P. That's Callie. That's Shannon. This is robot time. Yes, it is. I'm super excited. Uh, now, you know how I like... Shannon's excited, too. Yes, thank Yay. you. <laughs> you know how I like um, Little Bits. Uh, Shannon, have you ever heard of Little Bits? I have. I love Little Bits. Isn't that a love song it, right? by 50 Cent? No. Uh, <laughs> so this is actually a Kickstarter project called Little Robot Friends uh, that they have it kind of taken a, 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 di a slightly different approach than Little Bits, but it's all about helping you learn robotics and electronics and teaching you this. Now, they actually have three little models. They're cute little smart, customizable, autonomous robots, and each of the different models come with a different personality. And then you Do we have a picture or something? interact with it. I think we have some video that we can play oh, okay. in the background here. Um, you interact with the robot, and it kind of learns you um, and maybe adapts the behavior a little bit. So it can sense light. It has a microphone. It communicates with other objects. It has a speaker. Maybe I've been watching too much Doctor Who lately, but don't those things look like something that would be on that TV show? They kind of do. <laughs> What do you think, Shannon? Is this right up uh, along your alley, huh? I love them. They're so cute. These remind me of the DEF CON Year 20 badges because they would speak to each other and each one was different. And I love that they're introducing this to like little kids. Little kids are going to love these things and it'll turn them into makers when they're older. Yes, totally. And then, uh, anyway, so you can go on Kickstarter project for $25 unassembled if you want to do it yourself, or $50 if you want to pre done. There I was looking at these little things thinking, they look pretty harmless. I could squash one of those with my shoe. <laughs> and then Shannon points out, they're not designed to kill you directly, they're designed <laughs> to teach kids to grow up to build their big brothers who will kill you. Exactly. All right, moving on, just a quick update for those of you who remember me talking about the uh, CN robot. It's that, that 1950s vintage robot that's like eight foot oh, tall yeah, and one. everything. It was up for auction. Yeah. It did sell for $27,000. Wow. So I didn't think it was going to go for that much, but it was a Italian built and it was designed to be a helper, a domestic helper. And it weighed one ton, didn't it? Yeah, something it crazy like that. It literally weighs like 2,000 pounds. Anyway, I just had to give you guys an update because I was excited about that one. Okay. <laughs> it's all yours, John. It's mine? It's cars and automobiles and trucks and SUVs and <laughs> whatever planes, else you want to talk about. It's planes, trains, and automobiles time. The best <laughs> part of every show. You're going to love this one, Shannon. I think our fame spot question of the day should actually be which part of the show do you like the best? And you're going to vote for robots, <laughs> right? Are you changing the fame spot question yeah, of the day? I am. Wow. Anyway, OK, keep going. <laughs> OK. I, I, words can't even do this one justice, so you just have to see the video. Roll the video, Dave. Look. Oh my It's a van. Goodness. Down by the river. What? Down by the river. It's a van. Have they done to this boat? It's also to a this boat. Van. Speed it up a little, Dave. Can you run in like double time? Oh, oh no, I didn't hear it. Oh yeah. Wait, does the does the front go in Wait the water? For it. This is a van that would truly make Mr. T proud. Watch this. Wait, it <laughs> Look at this. Look at what? this. Look at Shannon's face. Shannon's like, oh my God. I want one of those. Yeah, she wants one of those. Wait, go back to the video. We lost the video. You're making me crazy. Hey, Lord. Okay. <laughs> you keep telling him to do different things. The point is, Shannon, it's a van that's a boat. <laughs> okay, at first it looked like an RV, but that's pretty cool. Yeah. Watch, she pulls out, <laughs> and you so get to see it. That's a funky looking truck one. Now the funny off. thing is, look how long that <laughs> wheelbase is. And now, just, I want you guys to think about this. That was like a van. They had to chop it in half 
And then they had to lengthen the bod, the, the frame, and God knows what else oh they gosh. had to do. They spent a fortune on this thing. You know, Dude, way is... more than the motor that you put on the kayak. They've taken this to the next level. Did Why you, you know, always, Shannon? always bring that up? <laughs> He's, well, we got kayaks, because we go kayaking. He decided to put a motor on the kayak because it's not... Because, because, because he's lazy. Because it's yeah. the right thing to do. Sounds legit. Yeah, I'd do it. <laughs> See? See? <laughs> All right, that is pretty cool. I have to give yeah. it to you. Anywho. What else you got? Um, I think we're going on to story number 17. Okay. Uh, so, I'm a big fan of cars. Oh, really? Um, <laughs> and I like cars that go really fast. Oh, really? It's... Fun. This is all news to me. It's fun when cars that go fast also get really good gas mileage. So BMW is coming out with the new i8, which is a hybrid. Look at that. It's made of carbon fiber. Nice. Not only this that. This has got to cost like a bazillion dollars. Here's what's so interesting about this thing. It has two engines, okay? It has an electric drivetrain and it has a gas drivetrain. The gas drivetrain in this vehicle is the one that's of interest to me, not the electric. I mean, I'm glad there's electric and all that. The electric motor is like 90, let's see, uh, 96 kilowatts. So it's okay. 131 horsepower, 184 pounds foot of torque, which is cool. But um, what's really impressive is that the gas engine in this thing is a 1.5 liter three cylinder that develops 231 horsepower, 236 pounds foot of torque. When you put the two together, you've got 362 horsepower, 420 pounds of torque, zero to 60 in four seconds, and 96, 94 miles to the gallon. Wow. Ooh. And it's sexy. And it knows it. It's pretty hot. That's what I said. That's what she said. <laughs> oh. oh, Dave. Too, too soon. soon. Too soon. Too uh, soon. I'm sorry to all of you who are uh, in New Jersey. That's right. And Bruce is in the chat room. Yes. Bruce is the one who He's gave the us one the who tip. let us know. But like I said, <laughs> We love everybody in New Jersey. We're sad that it's on fire, but even you have to admit that a picture of a fun house burning down is kind of a little bit funny, or it will be in like a week, so. <laughs> All right, so we actually have uh, a lot of unboxings. We do. To go through. Uh, unfortunately, because, well, she's not here. Um, Are you gonna make her leave? I'm not gonna make her leave. It's her choice. She okay. can stick around. Yeah. Shannon, we do unboxings at the end of the show. If you want to stick around and comment on them and see what we got in the uh, for review this week, then you are more yeah, than yeah, welcome yeah. to. She says, "Yeah." Oh, okay. It's like Christmas in September. Exactly. All right. Well, then we will go to commercial break. We will uh, get our boxes ready to go, and then we will be right, right back. back. Do I have to, these messages? Do I have to put my... Yay, it's unboxing time. I love this part of the show. And Shannon decided to stay with us. And she has her own yeah. box to yeah. unbox, she's, too. She's going to unbox that one. I'm going to be her hands. I'm going to be her hands for her. That's just getting a little creepy. Yeah. Thanks, John. It's going to get even creepier. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> Why don't I get started you with this You want to go first? One. Yeah. You can go first. Oh. What have you got? Nice. Well, one thing that Dave is really going to like. Flying monkeys. I'll unbox the flying monkey. Shannon, uh, there's nothing I hate worse than <laughs> flying monkeys. We love them. <laughs> no, don't hit it. <laughs> Wait, he's not making... It's he... a broken flying monkey. Oh, I love oh, broken wait. flying monkeys. You have to remove the tab. Probably so that it doesn't do it in like the FedEx truck. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll just set him right here. Now, what I do love, actually, and I'm excited to see this, yeah. is the cube squared. Oh, um, cool. So we actually have the cube 
which is like a little tiny it's a cube. speaker. It's a cube, but it's like tiny, the tiniest speaker but it's I've a ever single, seen. But it's like a mono speaker because yeah. it's a single speaker, right? Yeah. So is the cube squared like a cube only with two speakers I instead of one? I think that is the special thing about Can this, Can you open yes. that with your dog werewolf bitten hand? I have done everything else in my life with my dog werewolf bitten hand. Hey, that's <laughs> so pretty cool bigger. looking. Um, but it, it's basically two cubes put together. I wouldn't look. It has like a keychain, like you could hang it around your neck like Mr. T and be blingy. Oh, please don't do that. <laughs> uh, maybe you should make, this is really ugly. I'm gonna let you do, be the hand model today. This is pretty awesome. Okay, <laughs> so there's a charging port. It's just a USB micro port. And there's a power button, which it looks like doubles as a play and pause button, nice. and that's it. I mean, it's simple, cool. but it's aircraft kind of grade heavy duty aluminum, yeah, it and it's got well this this little hangy thing. And I don't know what else to say. We'll have to take a listen to it, and we'll do a review, and we'll let you guys know. All right. How it goes. What's up it's next? It's Shannon's turn. <laughs> yeah. Really okay. Good. Here, let me. Let's see package. if I can. Let's see if I can make this work. Really, John. <laughs> My, your hands are very masculine. Oh, wow, Shannon. look at this thing. This is so cool. Oh, John, this oh, is wow. really creepy. You should not oh, be that's doing awesome. this. Wow. <laughs> and she got other stuff, too. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. What did Shannon what did, get? What did you get, Shannon? Um, the eye the bats. Eye bats. I had it backwards. It's the Mojo Refuel Removable Battery Case for the iPhone? Five. Five. Nice. The iPhone 5C. <laughs> and it looks like there's some other parts here. Oh, this one looks like a ruggedized case. Um, do they go together? Oh, do you, would I, you like the knife? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't allow me to have a knife. Well, look at her finger right now. <laughs> You'll see why. <laughs> Okay, so oh, here's... Oh, that looks actually very sleek and nice. Yeah, it does. It looks really nice. It's very... It's relatively slim. Yeah. It's slender, considering that rubberized it's... Rubberized on the back? Yeah, it's rubberized back here. Um, it's aluminum kind of frame uh, that goes around the outside. And you'll notice right there, it's got a little uh, iPod, iPhone connector built into it. Yeah. You see that? So I guess you just slide it in there and bingo bango. And then what you can do is charge it with the USB micro port. Cool. So it'll keep your phone all charged up and, uh, oh, it's got a little button and it lights up to show you if it's full or not, I guess. I like the little LED thing. Do so you, uh, maybe we'll have to have send it to you, Shannon. For your, uh, yeah, maybe you'll have to do the review for us. <laughs> That's right. Okay, let's see what Before else we got. Before you switch. <laughs> I could do a review. <laughs> here's, another, here's another package. And this one is from Jump Shot. And guess what? What is wow, Jump this Shot? Is, this is not just a card. This is heavy. Listen. <gasps> oh, look at that. They are little look at the USB Shannon. thumb drive characters. Oh, this one oh. looks like, I don't know, some kind of a ninja. Are they? So oh, cute. here's a policeman. What did she say? He's so cute. Yes, he is. <laughs> Do you carry a thumb drive with you? I do. I it's have like six in my purse. <laughs> Check it out. He's a ninja. They, they are cute. And this is eight gigs. So if you would like to have some little cute characters, you got a cop. Maybe good for gifts? Yeah. Coming and up. Wait, there's oh, a t-shirt. There's, there's two t-shirts in here. Two t-shirts. Oh, cute. <gasps> One Ooh. for you, yay, and one for me. Oh, Shannon, maybe I'll. You got, <laughs> you got the ninja. You got oh, the ninja, and I got you. the nice. The cop. <laughs> cool. All right. Thanks, guys. We will give those a little try, and we will see. Yeah, there's I something think in stickers, here. Stickers, probably. Oh yeah. That's usually what they are. Okay, a whole bunch of them. Plenty wow. of stickers. So we can spread them around, stickers. spread the love. Okay. Cool. And I'm what gonna just is next? take this little monkey away from me. No, you. don't take my monkey. Put that away over oh. here, because I she know took it's my coming monkey. soon. <laughs> yes. Bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. Oh, 
yay. Okay. What have we got here? Well, so these are not ex exactly new, brand new products, but we are working on, oh. Ken is working Doesn't on. Doesn't Ken have a super secret project or something? A super secret project, yes. And these are have, here have for Have you those. seen these before, Shannon? This is the blue, the Mikey from Blue. And I've what never it seen is, that before. is, let me, I'll You guys just, use blue mics over there, right? Probably at least I, some. Uh, I believe so, in the studio. So what it is, now this is for the older iPhone connector, um, but are they, they're working on a new one, aren't they, Ken? No? It's supposed to work. This one's oh, supposed, supposed to, work to work with a new one? With cool, with the oh, adapter? Oh, with the adapter, okay. Okay, so what it is, you plug it in, and this, <clears throat> see it's, it will uh, bend, and, and it's got different modes. If you look back here, there's some little lights. And so you can put it on different modes, but it's like a high quality microphone so you can do interviews. I could be like, yeah. hello, Miss Callie Lewis, would you tell me something about yourself? I like mac and cheese. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it turns your iPhone into a high quality portable, you know, recorder. Yeah, those are really good for like podcasters and stuff when what they're you at got? conferences. I have the Spark, Spark Digital. Digital. This is a bigger one. Don't say that, that's what she said, okay. blah, blah. <laughs> Whoa. Wow, you I don't broke break it. it. Way so, to break it. This is actually a really cute microphone. It's kind of retro, if I can get it out. Uh, I can't do anything with this hand. Aw. <laughs> and so this thing gets mounted in this little... Uh... Everybody's like, yeah, I like mac and cheese too in the chat room. <laughs> nice. It's a, It's a... What do you call this uh, cage? It's like a little cage. Spider mount? Okay, that's what it's called, spider mount. Anyway, it goes nice. in there, and now it's all, like, springy. So, so that you move it around, adjust it and for you won't hear the it. optimum sound. Ooh, and it comes nice with this bag. case. It's like a velvet case. And it's, like, lined. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Look, it's like, yep. holy crap. Nice. We just set that right in there. <laughs> I get more excited about products whenever they come with cool cases. Yeah, seriously. I know, right? <laughs> it's psychological. It makes a huge difference. That looks, now it looks like a, like a wine bag or something. Yeah, it does. Like a bottle in a bag. <laughs> okay. We have two of these. What is this? One Meant for each of us. <gasps> is it what I think it is? It is what you think nice. it is. Now these are new Bluetooth portable speakers made by Cambridge Audio out of the UK. Good day, mates. And <laughs> let's see what they look like. All right. So they actually said that they were going to send these to us. And then you were like, oh, we had a flood. Just send it to my house. And all I heard was, I don't want Callie to get her hands on these. Whatever. So I complained. And they said, fine, we'll send you one too so the two of you don't have to fight over them. Oh, nice. All right. Wow, what is this? Is this like a... Oh. Oh, don't break it. I'm not breaking it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, so these are a very unique little speakers. On the back, you'll see this big uh, Cambridge Audio logo in this piece of plastic. And if I, if I tap on it, listen... Yeah. It's, it's hard. It's like a hard plastic. But that is a subwoofer. I do, I was noticing that. It has a rubber surround, and you can push on it. That is cool. And let's see. I don't, I, so we, we get a lot of Bluetooth speakers in here for a review. Uh, I'm sure you do, too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have a, all one of those in place. my office right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but then um, uh, uh, this is definitely unique. And look at this. On the bottom, uh, there's this little flippy outy part, which is the technical term. It's called a stand. <laughs> <laughs> to stand it up. Very, yeah. very cool. And the bottom is all rubberized. And let's see, on the back, it's got a USB 5 volt, 500 milliamp port. I'll bet you anything that means we can plug our iPhone into this and use some of the battery from this to keep the yep. music going longer. Awesome. So, I could use those as headphones. Right. Yeah, we can just <laughs> strap these on your head, Dave, one on either side. That wouldn't look good. So we, we will check these out. We'll let you guys know how they work. Oh, there's one more. Do we have one more? One last package for Callie to open. Ooh, oh, is it Unless for you want to do it, Snubsy. 
<laughs> Would you like going... me to do it? <laughs> I, I don't think Callie will let me do it for you now. I think that now. was just too awkward. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for this is from Nimble Stand. Oh, it's the Set Nimble Stand. I've seen this before. <gasps> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have se Look, here's the, here's actually like some direction things for it. Okay, even. so there's a setup guide. Oh, this we need like a, a stand for quick, your iPad. Can we get one of the... Um, Here we go. There. Watch Ooh. this. Hang on. Hold your horses. Ah. You slide <laughs> this into here. Oh, nice. There. Okay, you slide this into there. Okay, now that sits down here, and we take a... What happened to all the tablets? Oh, here we go. <laughs> We take a tablet, any old tablet will do, and stand it up like so. Pretty cool? Very cool. You can go either portrait or uh, or landscape, I assume. Yep. So okay, now cool. you can play with it. It's rubberized on the bottom, so it's not like sliding oh, okay. around or anything. And as you surface. And as you pointed out, it does indeed have this. So we can goof off with that. That's not how you as use well. a stylus, John. It's not? No. Well, nobody ever accused <laughs> me of being right. So. All right. Well, I guess that about completes our unboxing, huh? That was a lot Christmas of unboxing. This is over. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us, and especially thanks to Shannon for joining us. Uh, make sure everybody knows where they can find you. At you can find me on Twitter. At org and twit.tv. And on Twitter, I guess, at snubs. Yes. I'm going to repeat uh, the website since you talked over her. Okay. Hack5.org. <laughs> and at snubs on Thank Twitter. You. Well, right. you well, you can find her at Callie Lewis on Twitter. You can find her on Google Plus, google.com forward slash plus Callie Lewis. And John is at google.com slash plus John P. And twitter.com slash John Pose. That's me. All right, guys. We'll, we'll see, see you next then. week. Bye. Cut off, I guess. John, how do I say your last name? Pose P. That is. Actually, if you want to... I want to see what's in here now. Well, hang on now. Do you want to say it the right way, or do you want to say it the way I say it? The way you say it. Okay, I say Posa Zedes. Posa Zedes. Posa Zedes. Posa Zedes. That's the way I say it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs>